the stuff is pretty hard, so we're not cutting very fast. Okay, this isn't quite fitting on here yet. Um, I went and measured this, and it's actually measuring out about 460 instead of 450. I think it's just this material is so dang hard. Uh, my cutter is not able to pull that off there. I can normally hold one thou, half a thou with that cutter. So I updated the G code. We're gonna go and aim to cut this at 440 just to compensate for probably the hardness. All right, there's a new problem. You can see the drive dogs there, but in between them, there's a little bit of an edge. They did a really poor job of machining this and that edge is catching and it's uh, smaller than the three quarter of the hole that we need. So I'm gonna update the model and the program again to just cut a little bit of a shoulder around this part. I'll probably just take off 20, 30 thou around it and we'll cut some more. looks pretty good let's try it all right that looks pretty good let's pull it out of the vise and then see what we can do about a pin all right back here at the workbench you got it put in there now this hole is crooked it's not in the right spot it's supposed to hit a side of the drive dog there I don't want to go in just straight through that because then I won't have very much meat to hold it in place so I want to drive it that way I want to drill kind of crooked through there um, to make sure that we get good contact with our pen don't lose nothing it's not like this is gonna pull out anyway it's already pretty tight but I feel like I ought to do it better all right so that hole is what, probably that's probably a, yeah, 1875, what is that? 3 sixteenths. All right. So we'll get 3 sixteenths drill. Actually, first, I'm gonna see if I have anything, a pin or, or a bolt or something put in there. All right, we're ready to go. This stuff's pretty hard, so we're gonna use some uh, cutting oil here. Hope she goes. already terrible. What's going on here? Alright, take two. That shouldn't be able to push out now. Wow, well, that didn't work worth the crap. Alright, we got a C-clamp in here now and resharpen the drill bit. Let's go again. Okay, there is no way we're gonna drill through that. That is some hard stuff. And I don't have, a carbide burr would probably work, but I don't have one that small. And it, it just take, it'd take 30 minutes to get through there. You gotta pull them out and clean them 900 times because there's nowhere for the chips to go. New plan, drill this on the side to line up on the flat and we'll use a set screw. All right, here's a nice surprise. We made enough of a divot in that shaft with the drill bit 
that we can just use the ball and the retaining ring like we have before or not Man, this thing is really rough. It didn't do very nice machining. Look at this. That's better. That's where we want it. All right, to drill. All right. It turns out that thing's hardened too. I don't have no way to drill it out. So, I don't really want to waste too much more time on this. And it doesn't need a whole lot of holding to keep it in there. So I'm going to be really, really terrible. And do what we did with the tap. I'm going to put some tape around that stem there. Get it tapped in there real good. And it should hold good enough. It's not like I need to take this on and off all the time anyway. So it doesn't really need, you know, like a nice threaded fastener or anything. Something that's more or less permanent but not really permanent in case i do want to break it down again should be just fine so we'll try that all right i got these edges lined up with where a flat is so should be able to just drop right in there tap it into place wouldn't you know it Cheap plastic candles. Just busted right off of this thing. Well, I guess I know what's next. We'll make some decent handles in the lathe. That's terrible. Wow. Too much tape? tap a hole for you but uh, I don't have no handles no more that is some pretty lousy plastic all right I'll bring you back for that one when I decide to work on it. okay we're gonna try a new strategy this uh, 3 16 carbide uh, ball burr these generally work really good on these hard materials it just takes a really long time to get through you got to keep them cleaned out and oiled let's see how we do Alright, you get the idea. It works. Uh, this is going to be a long time. I'm going to bore you to death drilling on this for 25 or 30 minutes. So I'm ready to put a roll pin in this. Um, I'm going to pull the, this rack for these junky collet things off of here because I just don't need it. Um, I really didn't like uh, the idea of putting tape around that to get that to stay. So I took out a part. Uh, I ordered another ball burr see if I could uh, get through this thing again and I got the the ER call it got pretty nice holes through there that's real good but I just can't get through this stem uh, I don't think I really need the hole all the way through the roll can roll pin can be pulled or uh, that can be roll pins will grind out with a ball burr no problem if I really really have to but I don't expect to have to take this apart ever again once I put it back together. Or if I do, you know, it's, it's just going to be a rare thing. So it's, it's not really going to matter. 
the pin can only go in one way. So that's what we're going to do. Piece these handles out of the way since the handles all got broke. So we got to make those. So I'll feed this guy in there. Our hole. You probably want a little bit better shot there. Uh, yeah, that's good. I don't have to change the view. Alright. Little bit of tap. Ah, oh, come on. This goes together just fine when you're not on camera, of course. But. Probably got it crooked. Let's just try again. There we go. That ought to be good now. Well, that's nice. Ah, I got some birds on there now. Don't know how that happened. Let me go right now off on the new bird and wheel. Yes, I know you're not supposed to use the side of a hammer, but it didn't really fit any other way. All right, where's our roll pin? There we go. Anti-finger smashy. That's plenty of meat. You can grab a hold of it and yank it back out of there if necessary. Roll pin doesn't let it go up about two inches. And now that this is longer, we definitely need that travel. I'll just grind that off so it's below the surface. Grinding complete onto the handles.